morning happy monday i thought today i would do a day in the life realistic spend the day with me no realistic day in the life spend the day with me wow it's gonna be a long day my brain you will see the baby brain a disclaimer sorry this angle's not great but the camera rests on my bed brilliantly because it's such a flat surface all my days are different with my job being working from home but this kind of gives you like a little insight i mean they don't change up a hell of a lot but today is a day i know i'm at home today so this is just going to be a typical at home day and obviously pre-pregnancy i would have had a lot more activity involved i used to love to go to the gym and well love we'll use the term love loosely um go to parties stuff like that but i just haven't been doing that throughout and i'm not gonna start now i'll probably wait till after now so let's roll with today hope you're all good i don't even most people probably would have planned the night before what they're gonna do in their day not me not this gal I'm going to start off with the shower. That is the first thing I always do because honestly, right now, I've had to open one of my shutters because I can't keep my eyes open. It's like my alarm went off at eight. I'm not going to lie. I did snooze it till half eight. <sighs> but coming back from holiday, the jet lag has kind of done me wonders. I'm not going to lie. I'm a lying gal. I could probably lie until like 10. But in my sleep pattern from holiday i have been waking up a little bit earlier and i have been going to sleep earlier i've been trying to go to bed by like half 10 so i'm trying to stick to it let's go have a shower and crack on with the day don't conflate issues why you always go to do i really want you when you know that i do piece of morning advice for you all and this might be second nature to most of you i hope make your bed in the morning honestly i don't know what it does it just almost starts my day with a blank canvas i don't know why the rest of the house could be a tip but if my bed's made i'm happy something like also i'm trying to do especially whilst i'm at home because it makes no sense i don't know why i've got in the habit is not putting on any makeup and just trying to appreciate my skin i have honestly got in the worst habit where i keep doing no makeup makeup and just putting on a little bit and i've just become really what's the word i don't even know but not accepting of my face without makeup which is awful i used to literally never wear makeup ever and now it's rare that I don't just put on, oh, a tiny bit of tinted moisturiser, a tiny bit of concealer. So you're going to have to deal with the bare face today. They quick to run, 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 run. and so will you run. Baby, take the moment you got it. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. My love, just rest assured. I'm yours, I'm yours. Tell me what you're running for. Cause you don't have to try so hard. I kid you not, this is my favorite part of the day literally i look forward to this i go to bed thinking about this moment my mom went on tiger toast with my iced coffee and my iced water yes i need iced water this is literally my oh, I like, i'd pick this over this to be honest the iced water i don't have to be with anyone i quite enjoy it on my own to be honest and just I 
I don't understand people that skip breakfast. It makes no sense to me. It never has. Even back in the day where I've done stupid diets before holidays and stuff, I've never skipped breakfast. Breakfast. How? It makes... <laughs> So in the morning, whilst I'm having my breakfast, I tend to look through my emails, check what I do for the day, and write notes in my phone, on my notes app. I was actually thinking the other day, I don't know what I do about the notes app. I love it so much. I've got the most random things on there. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to write a list. I have so many lists where I've literally started, and you can't even see, but there's literally one thing on the list that I start a list with good intention and never carry on. So I'm gonna go through now and figure out what I need to do for the day. And a parcel just come, which I'm gonna show you in a sec once I've finished my brekkie. I did a nice big order on Super Dry and it's just come. So shall we go through it? I needed to get some comfy bits, which are a bigger size and gonna fit me. I've been living in these joggers. You might have seen them on my Instagram the other day actually. I put it on the screen and they are so comfy they're like low rise wide leg and i just needed them in another color so there should be another color in here it's just my go-to place to get just well everything but mainly my comfy clothes so let's go through and thank you to super Draft for sponsoring this part of the video i have a discount code as always with them which is sid15 and i'll leave the links down below if you want to shop anything yay i think these are the different colorway <gasps> i love these joggers so much honestly i have been living in them cass actually said to me they're like are we gonna wear different joggers at some point this year i just don't know what it is i just grab for them every day so Got another colour, literally the exact same style. These are cream. And they're just like a really cool girl. I think they're actually called Vintage. Vintage Wash Straight Jogger. Let me quickly wipe these on. Oh, I like these. These could be in my new every day. Okay. I am in love with these. These match my sofa perfectly. I don't recommend standing on your white sofa if you have one, but you know, these are so cute i'm so happy honestly sorry i love you turquoise joggers but i might have a new girl in my life next up i picked up this fleecy kind of bomber jacket i don't really have a lot of black jackets so this caught my eye and i liked the teddy material on it oh i actually really like that it's cropped as well kind of goes with these low-rise joggers I always go so oversized with my bits from super dry so this is a size uk 16 but as you can see it's still cropped it's got that shorter look but i like the baggier style if that makes sense so i don't want to make it longer i'd rather pull it in here because it's got ties so it's still cropped and cool but it's nice and baggy as well. And then there's room to layer it if it's really cold. But this is really nice. It's got a hood. I'm pretty sure this comes in other colorways as well. Next up, I got this t-shirt, which I think is so cool. Their t-shirts are like butter. I wish I could put the fill through the screen. But the softest material. And I liked this creamy color with the gray. I've just paired it with these leggings which don't sleep on super dry sportswear by the way because it's so ridiculously stretchy obviously i've had to fit this over bump and it's not restricting at all so nice and soft and i also have the sports bra here which i completely forgot to put on but it's a nice little set if you want to match you can see the quality up close it comes in so many different colorways yeah, I've got so many of their sportswear stuff. Obviously, not using it for the sporty side of life at the moment. However, I do actually love wearing leggings more than I thought I would during this pregnancy. Just makes me feel a little bit <clears throat> as much as I can, you know? Oh, look at this hoodie. I just love a hoodie so much. This goes with the 
sports color. Wow, I didn't even realize I'd done that. Oh, I just love a hoodie. This is a really good size for me. I got this in an XL and it's super roomy. I just only grab for hoodies that are so big at the moment. They're just the comfiest thing ever. Even before I was pregnant, I like wearing hoodies that literally feel like they're giving me a hug and drowning me. And as always, the quality is just insane. This also come in other colorways, but you can just see, this has obviously just come out of the bag and it's not creased at all because it's just material that's like butter. I have two more things, which I'm just gonna hold up because I'm very, very comfy in this outfit. And getting changed is a little bit of a challenge now. <laughs> it's a bit of a sport to be honest. Shorts, I love shorts. I like wearing shorts around the house. I like wearing shorts like this to bed. I just love shorts, even in the winter. I would prefer to wear like a big baggy jumper like this and then just little shorts and some fluffy socks or slippers. So I picked up these and as you can see from what I was wearing in the beginning, I love turquoise stuff. So I got these in a size 12. And then final item, I love a cap sleeve t-shirt at the moment. I'm hoping this is gonna be long enough for my bump. I guess I could wear like high-waisted joggers. But I got this in this like vintage brown kind of colour. And this style top is so popular on super dry and also just in life. They are just so comfy and the best to wear with just like bomber jackets, leather jackets. And as we get a little bit warmer in spring, these are going to be the essential. I feel like basics have just become the best thing ever. I feel like the more simple you dress, the more cool you look. So that is everything that I got in this order from Super Dryer today. Like I said, Sid15 will get you 15% off your order. Check out all their new bits. They're always adding new stuff to their website. I'm constantly ordering from Super Dryer. And I'll leave the links down below. Now it's time. That was the fun part of my day. <laughs> that I crack on with some work. So I'm going to go back to the kitchen and set up my laptop. And I've got a few phone calls today, which I'll time lapse because... You know, I can't really film my, my phone calls. <laughs> Twelve nineteen. I've had a productive morning. I've edited a video. I've been doing a little bit of work on my laptop. I had a bunch of phone calls to do. And now I'm getting hungry and I'm eyeing up this cake I bought yesterday. Let me show you. I really don't think I've had cravings. I mean, do you know what? I'm quite a cravy person as in I think I had cravings before I was pregnant. Like when I want something, I am the type of person that like, I can't stop thinking about it. I'll get up, put my shoes on and I'll go get it. So I, I don't know, I just don't have the urge where I'm like, oh my God, this is a craving. But I do feel like cake maybe is the craving and iced water. So I got a, basically like a call in the caterpillar, but this is called cut for, Cuthbert, what a weird name. Can kids even say that? Because I can't even say that. Layered buttercream chocolate cake. And this is from Aldi. I had a slice last night and I might have another slice because it is so good. I just think about cake. I do think about cake a lot, to be honest. Do you know what I need to do today? It's hard because this. I think this is the reason why I've put off filming this video in the past because it is quite difficult when a lot of my day is at my laptop and obviously how can I do a video with like things being on my laptop? Does that make sense? So I need to go online and actually order some bits for my baby shower, which is in a couple weeks. <sighs> I cannot believe it. Cause obviously you have baby showers at the end of your pregnancy. I've got Aisha's baby shower on Sunday and then yeah, mine's the weekend after. So it's just really strange how it's just come around so quick and what else oh i put my story yesterday i might combine it in this actually i said would anyone be interested in seeing the things i've got so far for the baby so very kindly been sent 
the most amazing things which I actually had on my kind of like wish list. I love a mood board, I've made quite a few mood boards. I've made a mood board for the nursery which I'll show you as well. I'm thinking I'm gonna have some cake and maybe go over to my nan's in a bit and get a coffee. That's one of my favorite things to do as well in the day is just get out, whether it's walking into town. I live super close to a town center. So just walking into town, getting some fresh air, that's something I really wanna keep up when I have the baby as well. Always see people on TikTok, like if you've got a newborn and you, if I can give you one piece of advice, it's just get out of the house and go for a walk. So yeah, this weather looks really nice today. So I might actually go, yeah, I'm gonna get a coffee with my nan and my nan will love that. And yeah, when I'm back, let's talk nursery, let's talk baby things. I know this part isn't for everyone and I'm very aware that obviously a lot of my content is me talking about pregnancy and stuff now, but obviously with this being my channel, it's my life. And the most obvious part of my life at the moment is obviously where I'm at in my pregnancy. So yeah, sorry if this isn't a little bit annoying. I just went for lunch with Nan and we had a coffee and some like late breakfast food, which I've already had breakfast, but you guys know how much I love breakfast. I had a bacon sandwich, I'm not gonna lie, and it was unreal, and I forgot my camera. And I've had a really productive day, but I just feel like it just doesn't seem like it in this video. Because a lot of the productivity, like I said before, is like on the phone and getting stuff done on my laptop. So I'm gonna do the stuff that I've been avoiding now. and. This is day-to-day -day stuff. The piles of washing, I, I mean, I guess it's there's a lot more at the moment because we've just got back from holiday, but I've done all the washing. It's just the piles of putting them away. I don't know what it is. I just kind of move them around and just hope that the fairies will do them. And I'm going to do a time-lapse clear-up. I saw someone do this on TikTok the other day and I thought that's such a good idea to get stuff done. Is I'm going to set a 30-minute timer that sounds so long, does it? Maybe I'll do 20. No, I'll do 30. And you've got to act like that 30 minutes is like a, I don't know, just like something's gonna go wrong if you don't get everything done in 30 minutes. But obviously the whole point is you get as much done as you can in 30 minutes. I feel like it's a very motivational 30 minute alarm. And I just, I just can't be bothered, but I'm gonna blast some music and I'm gonna clear up. By the way, this is Cass's little man corner, his little desk, which doesn't go over my neutral aesthetic. But anyway, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, counting down. Let's go. that is all baby stuff and i'm not gonna lie it's just the part of the house that i just ignore for now because i look like i'm about to go boot sale obviously apart from the ring light i don't know why my ring light's in the middle but that's bad isn't it we're gonna start putting things together and start the nursery but currently this is the nursery. But before I start to tell you the things that we've got, I will have to put some pictures on the screen because as you can see, a lot of things are in boxes and we will be here all night if I get them out. This is what my mood board is looking like for the baby's room. So these are just random pictures that I could find, to be honest. Doesn't particularly mean everything is this exact thing. Um, like I said, in a sec, when I go through what we've already got, I'll put pictures on the screen of the legitimate things we've got. As you can see, no one shout at me for being a beige mom. There will be pink stuff in there, I promise. Also, that is not her name. That is just off Pinterest. What is, what name is that? Is Isabella Grace. This is the vibe I really like. I saw a TikTok and if I can find it, I'm going to screen record it and put it on the screen. And I just love this lady's aesthetic. It's given me like barn country you know i love country yeah what's it called like farmhouse vibes and oh, don't get me wrong i will add 
I don't have to justify myself, but I will add girly things, more girly things, and more kids friendly stuff, you know? Like it's not just gonna look like it's a room ready for a 15 year old. But anyway, that's the vibe, and I just love kind of putting my ideas down on paper or an iPad, just because I like to visually put things together. So, what we've got so far, we've got pram. You would have seen that in a vlog. I'm gonna try and go through this quite quick. We've got pram, which was from Mamas and Papas. We've got the Caro. This is gonna be in no particular order, by the way. I'm just grabbing and going. I'm honestly overwhelmed by the generosity of these brands. I just can't believe it. This body, oh, you're gonna to have to mind the wording as well. I have no idea what this stuff is called. Harness, carrier. And I love that they've sent it to me in black because this is something that I think Cass will end up love, loving wearing just to carry her around when we're like out for the day or going on walks. And I've heard babies just love being like on your body. And I just think black's quite nice for a guy to wear. They've sent me a soft one which is cream. If I can find the links to these and the specific names, I'll put them in the description box. Cream one, which I think I will find a little bit more comfy. I mean, guys, please take everything I'm saying with a pinch of salt. No, no one come for me because I could be describing everything wrong. Obviously, I will look into all this before we start using it, but I don't know if these are different for a reason or if one's just a little bit more robust because you know, I, I don't really know. Maybe this is for a smaller baby. I, don't, I really don't know. But I really like this one. This one's in like a nice creamy colour. So they're both from Baby Beyond. I think that's how you say it. They've also put in a few bits. A cover for your baby carrier. Transport bag for your bouncer. And then a toy for the bouncer chair. So they've also very kindly sent me the bouncer chair, which you've probably seen everywhere. I first saw these because Aisha and Zelia have them for their kids. But I already did pick one from Mamas and Papas, which is ping. Let me get it. So I am extremely grateful that we have two. And I'm either going to have one upstairs and one downstairs, just so we don't have to like lug anything on the stairs. And also someone just said it's handy to have one on different levels. If not, maybe one at my nan's or something like that. Here is the bouncer. Obviously, once this is all together, I'll do a proper video. You can see here, I've gone for pink. And yeah, this is the Mamas and Papas Tempo 3-in-1 Rocker Bouncer, which I'm just buzzing about. I love... This is the stuff I was just so excited for. And apparently, bouncers end up being like a third parent when you have a baby because you can actually get stuff done, like have a shower start to cook dinner, do a little bit of tidying up, and you know they're safe and they're kind of like bouncing around and happy as Larry. Okay, so the rest of the stuff, I think I'm gonna have to reel off. I'm gonna look around so I can remember. Oh, I can show you our car seat. So here is the car seat that we've gone for. This is the Cybex Cloud Z2 eye size. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't have a clue when it comes to car seats i felt like i learned a lot when we went to mums and papas and in the end i knew exactly what pram i wanted but car seats whew, honestly in the end i had some help choosing one from a lovely girl called shannon at pram world and they very kindly sent this to me and apparently this one's just so popular because it swivels on the base i've got the base over there so that goes in the car and then this is what you can take out and also there's a function on this i don't know how but babies are only allowed in car seats for a certain amount of time it's not very long at all but this has a mechanism <laughs> that stretches the car seat out slightly so they're laying a little bit more flat so they can be in this for a little bit longer i'm not sure how long so don't quote me on it and when i find out one day i will let you know but just nice sleek black and apparently a very popular one at the moment and then also from pram world i got the trip trap high chair 
which is from, damn it, I have no idea, but I will put a picture on the screen. We've been sent the high chair and the newborn attachment, and this chair is apparently amazing because it can go all the way through to adulthood. Crazy, I know. And there's just different levels, so obviously they can go in it straight away with the newborn attachment, and then you can take that away, make it into like a toddler high chair, etc. And then I'm pretty sure all we've got other than that is cot drawers, which is also a baby changing unit that is what all these boxes are and then we've got a wardrobe for all her clothes well as well as the drawers and then i think other than like clothes and like little bits and bobs that people have already been buying us i think that's all we've got but i'm aware there's still probably a lot more i need but i feel like we're on the right track what is the date today so currently it's the end of jan We've got about eight weeks and i know it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna 100 be eight weeks could be longer could be shorter oh also got the lua cot from mamas and papas which you might have seen already because i posted that online a while ago that was one of the first things we got actually and i'm contemplating just because how much people rave about it but it's a bit of a splurge so I don't know, just because the twins, I shouldn't say they are literally talk about it so much and they're like, have you got it yet? Because like you're literally going to need it so bad. It's the four mums, I don't know what it's called, but I'll put a picture on the screen. I have seen Zellia's in person and it does everything. It kind of blows my mind. It does like rocking, swaying, shushing, wooing, waves, everything. Like I, w I want an adult version of it. It is a minefield, this whole like buying stuff for a baby there's just i mean you could get so so carried away but that is an insight of what we've got so far if i forgot anything i'll link it down below or i'll mention it in the next video like i said within the next couple of weeks i'm gonna speak this into existence we are going to be setting all this up and the nursery is going to be taking shape and as soon as it's done i pinky swear i've just remembered one more thing we've got we've got like a little change in thing which is like a Oh, it's like a little wicker changing thing, which was on the mood board. That was for mamas and papas as well. There will be a video. And as always, please, 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 I welcome all the comments down below. DM me, tell me anything. I won't be offended if you're like, said, you shouldn't have got that. I mean, everyone's different, obviously. But if you say it in a lovely way, I will honestly just take it on board. It means the world. But, oh, my alarm just went off saying that my dinner's ready. So I'm gonna leave this room because honestly, it stresses me out how messy it is. Who do you think you are? Baby, you're an asset. Cause if I'm rocking with you. And just like that, we're back where we started this morning. I'm just running a bar, my favorite time of day, and I'm about to break into a cream egg. I'm extremely excited that the next celebration is well valentine's then easter i love easter eggs so much so just to catch you up to speed we just had dinner boring sausage and mash i say boring sausage and mash with an onion gravy a british home cooked meal that tastes 10 out of 10 doesn't disappoint but i was so hungry i forgot to actually film that but pretty much most of my evenings are the same it's literally dinner bath bed and then we watch either well we've not really got a series going on at the moment but we i'll tell you the programs we're loving at the moment we've pretty much caught up with everything from holiday well, i think we have actually so happy valley at the moment on a sunday from bbc the apprentice uh dragon den freaking love dragon den there are like go-to things that we put on at the moment that we both like to watch together and I've just found this because Cass has finally unpacked his case today. But I got some bits from the Maldives that we bought back. I got one of these from Santorini. If I remember, I'll put a picture on the screen of it. And I don't know if this is actually going to come out. I got this photo album from the Maldives. 
but we got one from Santorini, which was our first like hot holiday together, like three years ago. And I filled it with the most beautiful pictures from that trip. And it's one of my favorite photo albums. So when I saw this in the one and only shop in our hotel, obviously because our hotel was an island, if you've not watched that vlog, go watch it. It's just made out of like leaves and handcrafted and then the pages are all very rustic and cute so i'm gonna get loads of pictures printed from the baby moon and fill that and then this is really cute so this shop that was in the hotel is gorgeous a bit overpriced but they had a mix of everything because obviously it was the only shop on the island so they had like necessities like toothpaste shampoo conditioner and then there was clothes which were like really boutique-y, boho kind of clothes, really cute, like crochet. And then there was like homeware, there was a bit of everything. It was like a really tiny, 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 like, selfages. And we were just looking around, and I was like, oh, we should get something for the baby, like just for her room, or just something where we can, she can grow up and we can say, we got that when you weren't here, but you were technically with us, like you were in mummy's belly. And we were looking around and Cass chose this. I honestly didn't help the boy at all. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? It's like a little shell ornament holder. It's just gonna look so cute on the side in her bedroom. And it's just the most beautiful. There we go, look at that her lesson, is that a word? Kind of jar, dish, dish. That's what I was looking for. And it's just so special that it's kind of like a one-off because, I mean, I don't really know, but we got this when we were away. I don't know where I'd get this anywhere else. And it's obviously got a special meaning behind it. And her daddy picked it out for her, which I'm shocked. This is something that I would go for. And it is just beautiful. I am gonna wrap this video here. Kind of turn into like a bit of a vlog slash baby haul. <laughs> but you kind of get the gist of what I do in the day. Like I said, every day is completely different. Take your pinch of salt. And things are a little bit slower paced whilst I'm pregnant. And I'm thoroughly enjoying that. I am really trying to take it easy and just really enjoy these last two months of just me in the day and then me and Cass in the evening. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. And I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to shop the Super Dry Bits. I'll put them in the description box. Bye guys, I'll see you soon.